All right, guys, so this next place that we're taking you to with us today is in the middle of Tomoka State Park. And I thought while we were going back to show you this unusual roadside attraction that we would also show you what some of the state park here looks like. you can get a sense of what it's like. The destination is on your left, 2099 North Beach Street. Arrived. Oh, there's a deer. See that, guys? Here's just a quick glance of the camp store, the Tomoka Outpost. We're not going in there. And it's adjacent to the boat ramp. Mm -hmm. Probably fresh ones. Yeah, but they're closing. Yep, and for sure this is the Tomoka River because there's a sign right there that tells us that it's the Tomoka River and this is their boat ramp right there for the state park. Here's their boat ramp. And I hear that it's um, on the state canoe trail and that a lot of people bring their own kayaks and stuff and go kayaking up in here. I think that they see a lot of alligators and manatees. But I tell you, I think that this would be a challenging place to pull a big rig into because of the low hanging branches over the road. I actually have not seen any campers. We've only seen people with uh, day use. See this is where you go into the group camp areas and look at that you'd have a hard time with a big rig. And I mean, I don't even see the campsites, so. The main campground is probably off in that direction. And that road over there looks a little wider. All right, so Peapaw and Cookie and Callie and I are at the statue of a mythical Indian figure. So this is the site, guys, of what was an old uh, Tamunkiwa Indian village of Nokoroko. And uh, it has something to do about the story that I'm gonna tell you of the next thing that we're gonna go look at. This story came up with the First Nations people, the Tamunkiwa, who used to live here. And they had that site where they had a town and this right here this statue is chief tomoki and it was created by the artist fred dana marsh and it is a 45 foot tall sculpture that was created in 1957, and it depicts the legendary uh, chief, the legendary Tamunkuan chief, Tomoki. It also was, it was also depicting him being surrounded by bow carrying braves and the princess Olita. It's fallen into some disrepair And this probably was meant by Mr. Marsh to be a representation of the First Nations people. 
this depicts that Chief Tomoki uh, stole the golden chalice that was used by the spirits that the Great White Spirit would send down every night to drink from the healing waters of a mythical spring. And everyone else respected it, but he did not. And so he took the chalice and drank the water, thereby defiling the spring. And that supposedly started a war between the First Nations people. And Princess Alita can no longer be um, recognized here. The only ones that you can still recognize are the uh, Indian Braves that had arrows, bows and arrows. And she had crumbled and fallen down to the bottom of this statue. And unfortunately, a lot of the water cascade coming out of the chalice there in Chief Tomoki's hand has come off as well. But this was a really unusual statue that was put in place as an artistic expression of Volusia County's First Nation people back in 1957. And you can still see it here in the Tomoka State Park. You're amazing watching till the end and remember clicking and sharing helps others find the channel. So till next time guys, keep exploring life matters. See you later. Bye bye.